Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard of 7%, 38%, and 55% rule? Okay. A study by UCLA psychology professor Albert Merriman shows in communication our words only account for 5%. The tone of voice accounts for 38%. Our body language accounts for 55%. So, facial expressions, gestures, body postures express a lot of messages. So, if we can read people, not only by their language, but also by their, their body language, we can understand them better. Let me tell you a story about how did I chase a girl by this <laughs> I always can remember that night I met her in school club. I can say I almost loved her at first sight. Couple weeks later, I encouraged myself to ask her a question. Are you available this weekend? <laughs> she answered, Oh, sorry, I have a previous engagement already. Her answer put me in a dilemma. Did she turn me down politely? <laughs> or she did really have a previous engagement already? Should I ask her out again? My roommate, also my love advisor, she, he told me, <laughs> if you cannot get the answer from her language, you should get the answer from her body language. Don't worry, buddy. I'll be back with the answer you want. Then he go to the library. Several hours, several hours later, he came back with a book entitled How FBI Judge Criminals by Their Appearances. <laughs> I almost went, I'm chasing a girl, not chasing a criminal. <laughs> My, my roommate said, girls and criminals are the same. <laughs> they are all human beings. They can tell a lie, but their bodies speak the truth. Now, recall your memory. When she talked to you, did she unconsciously rub her eyes, touch her nose, cover her mouth by hand, or scratch her neck, tidy her collar, and most important, when she talked to you, did she look straight at you, not looking up to the right or looking up to the left? I think, I think, I think she didn't think what my roommate said while she was talking. Okay, congratulations, she didn't lie to you. You should ask her out again. Good luck. Now, this girl is my wife. Oh. I'm currently working in Human Resources Management Department. Almost every week, I have to interview job applicants. But we only have 10 minutes to talk to each applicant. Then, we have to decide which one we are going to hire. So. If you are the interviewer, how do you choose the right person? And how do you tell someone's lie? One day, we held an interview. I always ask all the interviewer a question. I ask, excuse me. All, I always ask all the, inter, the, the applicants a question. Why do you quit your previous job? It's an important and typical question. From their answer, I can understand if they, they are a working hard person or they quit their job without too much thought. A young man answered my question perfectly, but I noticed his eyes looking up to the right. I think, ha ha, I got you, you are lying. So I asked him, do you think you tell the truth about your previous job? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did, sir. 
but why you didn't look straight at me while you were talking? Because, because, because there is a cockroach on the ceiling right above your head. <laughs> so I misunderstood him. If you are interested, <laughs> if you are interested in this topic, ladies and gentlemen, you can try to read this book. It helps a lot. I'm Mark. Return my control to PME. Okay.